Good morning, kids. All right. Today we are going to be doing our My Fashion Release with our ball, uh, tennis ball, golf ball, any hard ball, softball, baseball, something like that. Not a yoga ball. They're too mushy. Remember, we need our full foam rollers for next week. I can't forget to send out a reminder about that. I got to remind my own self. So we need a ball, our chair, and our floor mat. And we need to have our shoes off today. So while you guys are getting all of your stuff, it's going to be a great day. Remember, Mother's Day is, I think, next weekend. So do not forget your mamas. All right. We're going to start with our feet. And we've done this before. It's very appropriate for what we've been doing this past couple weeks. And you will, you will find hot spots. Remember, our hot spots are just sore areas. So we're going to do the entire bottom of the foot and go gently because they might be a little tender. If you find a tender spot, kind of just spend a little more time on that area. But don't dig it. Make sure you get behind your toes. And let's go to the other foot. Just a feel good day today. The next week's gonna be fun. We'll do real, real life, traditional foam rolling. Fantastic. All right. We're going to cross the right leg on top of the left. And we are going to roll straight down that bone. And now go in little circles. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Now we're going to lean back in our chair. We're going to get the inside of the thigh. And really try to start up as high on the groin as you can. And apply pressure. Not too much. So remember, if you like the tenderness, do not get carried away. It will cause more harm than good. Make sure you're stopping at the top of the knee. We're going to place the right foot on the floor. It's on the edge of your seat. And we're going to start at the top of the thigh. And we're going to go straight down. On the side of the leg, also get that IT band. That should feel lovely. Go all the way to the top of the knee. Don't cross over the knee, though. Working the way back to the back of the leg. And now go into a circular motion. Try to get that whole area. Remember to spend a little extra time on those sore spots, the hot areas, hot spots. Let's go back to the top of the leg and the front of the thigh. Work all the way down to the top of the knee. And we're going to rotate the leg inward and we're going to go to the side of the leg. That should hurt oh so good. Remember, spend a little extra time on those hot spots as you find them. Let's hit the IT band one more time. Dig in on that guy. 
the IT band responds is, responds a little differently and better to a forward or backward motion opposed to a circular motion. So try that. It should get a little better. Let's go to the other leg. We're going to cross the left over right. And we're going to go to the inside. To the calf. Remember to spend a little extra time on those hot spots. And lean back in your chair. Let's go on the inside of the leg. Remember to get up as close to the groin as possible. Don't dig in too hard. Just enough pressure to release everything. Place your left foot on the floor, and let's go to the top of the leg. Move to the side. Remember to spend extra time on those sore areas. Good morning, Sass. And let's come down towards the foot on the side of the leg. Back up to the IT band, and we're going to go to the IT band, and then behind the leg a little bit. Let's sit all the way in our chair and let's get the palms. So we're just going to place the ball between the palms and just roll it around. Really get that meaty part by the thumbs. Oops. <laughs> We're going to take the ball in our right hand and elongate the left arm on your left thigh and let's get right in that part of the forearm by the elbow. And then roll your palm towards the floor. Now be careful, this might be a little sore. Don't dig it. Good morning, Mom. Didn't see you pop up on there. Just rub up towards the bicep a little bit and tricep. And let's go to the other arm. Rotate palm to the floor. Ooh, I don't know about you, but that's kind of tender. 
come up to the bicep, tricep area. Last night, Antonio and I watched that new Tom Clancy movie on Amazon Prime. It is awesome. It is so action-packed. If you like action movies, that is the movie for you. Amazing. All right, we're going to take the ball in our right hand. We're going to extend the right leg out, and we're going to start at the hip. Mom, this should feel really good. Go right on the bony part of the hip right there. Just rub it in there. We're going to come down by the glute. And the hamstrings. Shoot, we might not even have to be on the floor today. Huh. We're gonna get the glute. Remember, spend a little extra time on those hot spots. And let's really get that IT band again. And let's go to the other side. Start at the hip. No, actually, we do have to get on the floor because we have to do our backs. Go back to the glute. Get into that hip joint. All right, we're going to go down the IT band again. And don't forget the hamstrings. So we're going to work all the way down. And we're going to go back behind the leg. All right, now we got to get on the floor because we're going to get the raw boys. Almost done with our Fast and Furious Friday. All right. Place your ball on the floor. And <laughs> find that nice spot right between the shoulder blade and the spine. And we're just going to kind of roll our way down. Do not put your full body weight on that because it might be too much weight. Kind of walk your way around it. So you're not on top of the shoulder blade. You're not on top of the shoulder blade. You're between the shoulder blade and your spine. Right in that sweet spot where you should be nice and tender. Oh yeah. Kind of move your shoulder around so you can place your head on the mat. Now let's move to the shoulder blade and you want to find the area between your shoulder blade and where your arm goes into that joint and let's just kind of rest on that little area to release it. <laughs> Got a little circles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what we're talking about, huh? Yeah. That's smart. <laughs> you guys are the best. 
All right, let's mosey on to the other side. Maybe. Okay, remember, we are not on the shoulder blade. Oh, oh. Be careful. One side might be a little more tender than the other. <laughs> I really want to say a bad word right now. <laughs> but I will not. I will not. No, we will not. Holy mackerel. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> Ooh, doggies. You are not on the shoulder blade yet. No! <laughs> Don't go on the shoulder blade yet. Right? You should be right between the shoulder blade and your spine. All right, now roll on over. So find that joint area between the shoulder blade and the joint of your arm. And it should be a little bruisey. And just relax on that for release for a moment. Okay, now start your circular rotation with your shoulder. All right, we're going to take the ball and we're going to place it right on our neck, right underneath our head. And we're just going to roll back and forth on it. So we're just put our head forward, backward, and just have that nice little release there. Not too much, or you'll lose your ball. All right. Now we're gonna turn our head to the side a little bit and place that ball right on our neck and have a nice release. Just allow the pressure point on your neck. Now let's go to the other side. <laughs> so allow the pressure point on your neck. Don't push on it, just allow it to relax on there. And go back to the back of the neck, so it's right at the base of the skull. <laughs> Don't push, just allow your head to relax on it. Now we're going to release lower back. So take your ball and place it right in your lower back. And we're just going to go back and forth. Now if you have a sore spot, hold yourself up. To release all those tight muscles. <laughs> all right. Mwah. Let's sit up. And we're going to go into our pigeon pose. No ball. Well, this is a lot easier to do barefooted, isn't it? Get a nice elongation through the front of the leg. And let's change legs. Alexa, turn timer off. Okay. 
Let's come center into our V child pose. We're going to push up into our tabletop. And make sure that we have our duck butt. All right, we're going to push up into downward dog. If you're unable to do downward dog, start standing up now. <laughs> Get into a wide stance. Walk into your feet. Roll up. Have a seat back down. And let's go into our triceps. From this position, let's side bend. Other tricep. Side bend. And let's pull back for posture. And open your mouth, tilt your head up, and we're going to take our bottom lip and we're going to bring it on top of the top lip. Really stretch the front of the neck. You ready? Here we go. Just do a couple reps. All right, let's go into our modified chair child pose. Awesome job, kids. I will see most of you later on this afternoon. And right now while I eat my lunch, while I'm thinking about it, I will go on Amazon and find the link to the full-size foam roller that we're going to use for literally foam rolling and my fascia release for next week. So if you have a half foam roller, it will not work. We need something that's going to roll. And I think they're like $10 right now. So I'll research that. And in the meantime, get your steps in. It's beautiful. Stay hydrated because it's hot. And I will see most of you in a few hours. Have a wonderful afternoon and a great weekend.